Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to get better audio in your videos using Final Cut Pro's multicam editing. So my iPad is all the way across the room and it gets pretty good video. But the microphone's all the way over there on the iPad, pretty far away from me. However, I've got my iPhone here and I'm recording my voice using a voice memo recorder app and it's going to create an audio file and hopefully when this is done I'll be able to use this audio with that video very easily in Final Cut Pro. So back in episode 669 we looked at multicam editing. One of the neat things you can use multicam editing for is simply to combine video with audio. So in that example I was shooting video with a camera that was too far away for the microphone to work really well and then I had a microphone very close to me. Now both were recording audio so I was able to use multicam editing and its audio sync feature to sync up the two tracks the audio only track and the video plus audio track so they synced perfectly. And then I was able to select just the audio track. You saw me switch over there and I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. So you can do the same thing using a very nice professional audio recording equipment that's right near you and a camera that's far away. Or you can use the same thing uh, to say record an event like say a wedding with a good microphone uh, up front really close to the action and then have video that's much further back and get that audio without having to wire everybody up with mics or have a really expensive shotgun mic or something like that. Alright so here I am in Final Cut. I've got a new project started at the bottom and I have the two clips here. This is the video clip taken from the iPad and this is the audio only clip that's taken from my the iPhone I'm holding in my hand there. Uh, I can create a multicam clip by selecting both of these and then I can uh, control click on it. It's one way to do it and create a new multicam clip. Now I can check off here use audio for synchronization and it should sync up the audio in the video clip with the audio in the audio only clip. Now I've got this multicam clip here. I'll drag and drop it into the project. And I've got the multicam uh, editor open here, the, the multiple angle editor open. Um, if you don't have it open, you can go ahead and open it. Uh, let's see, it, it's in, uh, there it is, a show and hide the angle viewer. You can find it there in window um, right there. So. Now that I've got those two open, I'm ready to work with them. So what I can do now is I can simply, uh, let's trim the video a bit. You can see there's nothing really much that happens there, nothing much that happens here. Right now the first clip, the, the video plus audio clip is what's going to play. So I will only hear that uh, if I play it. So the audio is very far away. You probably couldn't even hear it there. Uh, I'm going to switch the multi-cam uh, switcher here to audio only. So any switching I do will only switch the audio and won't switch the video. And I'm going to get to the point in the video where I want to do the switch for my example. I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to switch over to the recorded voice memo and you can see it creates a divider there. So now it switches over and for the rest of the video it will remain with that audio source. However, I've got my iPhone here now, of course, if I was doing this uh, for real, I wouldn't want to switch it over there in the middle of the clip. I'd want to actually have it start off at the very beginning. So I'm basically not really switching very much, but just switching that once at the very beginning and using the syncing between audio and video uh, with the audio to get everything perfectly in sync and have it all work out. Now if the audio wasn't good enough from the camera to actually sync it or maybe I didn't even have any audio from the camera at all I could actually go down into here and uh, I could choose to go into the angle editor down here and I've got the ability now to sync the audio with the video. I can basically move this along and if I expand it a great deal I can actually uh, get it to the point where I can see the wave just enough so I can work with it, move it just bit by bit just to get it perfect. So it even works if you don't have enough audio to sync. So this opens up a lot of possibilities because now you no longer have to have a microphone wired to the camera to record good audio with your video. You can actually record them completely separately and sync them up together in editing. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.